Roswell. Rosie, what do you think about that big old tire? Is it big? It's as big as you, Ross. Stand next to it. Stand by the tire. Holy cow, it's as big as you. Look at uh oh. <laughs> What's up, Dykes fam? What's up? We hope you guys are doing awesome today. It's a beautiful, sunny, warm day here, and we're getting ready for spring break. That's right. Wow. Wanna go for spring break, Ross? <laughs> <laughs> you guys might be wondering why we're crouching down by our motor home, down by the tire specifically. Mom, what's going on today? That's because there's tons to do to get this motor home ready for spring break, which is happening next week. The first item on our agenda is to get new tires. That's right. Here is our big old tire. You might be wondering why we need new tires because they look like they're in good shape. They have good tread. But um, for motorhomes, you actually should replace the tires every five years at least because even though this only has 12,000 miles on probably a 30,000 mile tire, when they sit and they're that old, they get rotten and they can't handle the weight of the motorhome. So even though they look good, it's time to replace them because we want to make sure that we're safe. Because Josh and I were watching some videos the other day of motorhomes when their tires blow out and it was like the scariest <laughs> thing ever. One of the things I learned about driving a motor home when you have a tire blow is that you actually have to accelerate. Speed up. Speed up. When you blow a tire. Did you guys know that? You're actually supposed to do that in a regular car too. Yeah. My mind was blown. I was like, I would have been dead if I wouldn't have watched that video. Because your car, your car gets off balance when the tire blows. To even out the weight or leverage out the car, you accelerate so it actually makes it flat again and then you start to slow down. Yeah, slow down slowly. But I've never known that, so. So that was something we definitely needed to learn before we started driving this motorhome on long distances. Yeah, so when I watched that video of the tire blowing, it literally scared me and I was like, we, we've gotta get new tires. Mom was like, we've gotta get new tires, right? Yeah, so we called our local tire shop. Um, we have these guys that we really trust. They do a great job. Um, they quoted us a couple different tires. We decided to go with the more expensive ones. These ones specifically cost like around three or four hundred dollars a piece. A lot of them can be a lot more than that if you get the name brand ones. We got ones that weren't a name brand, but they said that they're just as good. They have a 45,000 mile rating, and then there are the 16, they look at 16 measurement. I don't know what that means. Thicker it's like a thicker um, rubber. Oh, thicker rubber, yeah. And so it's better for like towing and weight and everything. And where we're going to be staying in this and traveling everywhere, we wanted a really good tire. So we're going to head to the tire shop and get it all fixed up. Yeah. You guys come with me inside the motor home. Just kind of an update. We spent a lot of time cleaning the motor home over the last couple days, getting it ready to go. Um, back here, I showed you guys previously that there was a lot of mouse poop in there and you can see that I have a mouse trap. So far, we haven't had any takers. No, no ma mice want the peanut butter or the flour. But if you guys remember back here, there was a car some carpet with a whole bunch of mouse poop. Oh my gosh, that is so much poop. It's so nasty. I actually cut that carpet out after I cleaned the mouse poop out because there was just too many urine stains from the mice. And uh, we just pulled that out. Anyways, we got that all cleaned up. Motorhomes are pretty crazy. Like I've had, I've been like digging through everything, just trying to clean everything out. I found some more mouse poop like underneath the bed, under some panels and stuff. It's, pr it's pretty cool once you like tear these things apart. But we're, we're gonna get this thing completely clean and ready Wiping for our first Wiping out adventure. every drawer, vacuuming every nook and cranny, and then also there's some things we need to replace, which are the vents um, on the roof. Oh yeah. So um, we're gonna go purchase some of those today, hopefully, and then if you guys are interested in it, we'll show it in our next video how to replace those and what we have to do. Yeah. We better get this to the tire shop. Let's yep. go. Yo, co-pilot. Wow. You ready to go? Yeah? Can you give these guys a big old thumbs up? <laughs> Seriously guys, Roswell. Roswell, do you love the motorhome? 
Yeah, he seriously loves going for rides in it. The kids are so excited. I seriously cannot wait to go actually stay in the motorhome. Oh, Christina's calling me. Gotta go. Put your arms up. Tunnel. Guys, we just hit 13,000 miles. What are you sticking up your nose, bro? Don't stick that in your nose, bro. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we made it to the tire shop. Mom's in there finding out where we need to park this bad boy. Parking a motorhome is not easy. If you've never done it, it's pretty hard. Hey, my motorhome. Christina found our place where we're gonna stay. Our new home, our RV park. <laughs> we're a little worried that this is what some of the RV parks are gonna look like that we're gonna stay at. Covered in tumbleweeds. So, if you guys know some good campgrounds, let us know, because <laughs> we need some good advice so we don't end up in places like this. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. Who knows if this even is functioning anymore. Oh, I'm sure it's not. Is that scary? You want to stay there? <laughs> <laughs> Call that number if you guys want to stay there. It'll be a party. We'll it's, stay too. It's probably a haunted RV park. <laughs> haunted by um, tumbleweeds. Yeah. Now we're no headed bad. to the local thrift store to drop off some clothes and toys that we're getting rid of because we're getting trying to get rid of almost everything in our house except for like stuff that we absolutely want to store while we're gone and then stuff that we're gonna have on the motorhome with us, but everything else we're trying to give to the thrift store or sell off, so today's the first step. Isn't that kind of crazy, guys? Like, we're seriously, like, minimalizing our life into a motorhome. They're actually really good to, like, get rid of stuff because like, most Americans have way too much stuff, way too much clothes, way too much toys, way too much food, like, way more than we could ever need. So it feels good to, like, get rid of stuff that we don't need or use. Ever. And we've been very blessed, too. So it's like, <laughs> we're not we complaining, but it's just like, it's time to declutter our lives. And, and realize what we really need. Kind of push the reset button. Yeah, you know? for sure. Guys, all right, the industries. <laughs> Thrust store and donation center. So we drop it. Okay, guys, we made it back home. Uh, these dudes just made it home from school. What's up, uh, Tayden? How you doing today? Good. Good. Good, good, good. Hey, what do you got going on? A soccer game. Guys, he's got a second outdoor soccer game of the season! <laughs> you fun? Yes. The first game went really well, guys. If you haven't seen it, you need to go to Tayden's channel and check it out. Yes, guys. As well as today's video. Yes. But, in our last game, what was the score? Do you remember? Um... Eight to two. Oh, snap! And this dude had a sick goal. Yes. So anyways, uh, go wish Tayden luck by watching his video. Showing him some love. Right? Yes. Arby's. We are the meats. <laughs> Bubba's eating some Arby's, right? Hey, what do you got going on tonight, cool hair guy? Wait, wait a second, check out this hair. I like it. What's going on tonight? I'm at my last soccer game. Your last soccer game? Not You're, ever. Just your last indoor game. Last indoor soccer game of the season, right, dude? Right. But this guy's going to be starting outdoor soccer soon, as well as coach pitch baseball. Right? Okay, hey, last game. What are you going to do out there? Uh, score three goals. Score three goals? You're going to get a hat trick? Wow. You're going to do an old Ronaldo hat trick today? Show me your muscles. Whoa, dang, bro! Wow. Those kids on the soccer court better watch out, huh? <laughs> Petey, your little yep. bro's gonna try to for a hat trick today. What are you gonna try for? A hat trick. And are you gonna do a scissors for your dad? Yes, I uh, think. You better! I'm gonna do that too. Okay, you do a scissors too. We've been working on it, huh? Go show them what you're made of. Let's go. Thanks, boys. What are you looking at, Koi? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. What? Hey, pretty lady. What you doing? Where are you headed? Gymnastics. Oh, okay. How you doing today? Good. 
good. Have I told you today that I love you? And that you're awesome? Oh, okay. Just making sure. Okay, did you have a pretty good day at school today? You excited to go on the road trip when <clears throat> mom's going to be your teacher? She's going to road school you? <laughs> okay, we'll leave you home then. You can go to school. That's going to be a little bit interesting, guys. So when we're on the road next fall, winter and springish, uh, you're looking at home. Mrs. Dykes. Teacher Dykes. Mrs. Dykes, we need oh, to go oh, to the bathroom. I thought you were going to teach the kids. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to teach them lots of stuff. I'll teach Tayden and William. You teach McCoy. Oh, yeah, because okay. I'm a crazy person. You can't handle it. We'll learn all about <laughs> sugar. How it's made, how it tastes. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, and me and Dad will go to the store and learn. <laughs> and you can not. count sugar granules, so for math. <laughs> yeah, what we'll do is we'll go to all of the candy plants that we see along the way, the sugar factories, <laughs> and we'll uh, do some taste testing, right, Nikoi? Yes, and then we can also do math, like how many ounces there are. And how many candy bars can you fit in your mouth? One, <laughs> two, Three, four, five, ten. Yeah. So right now we're taking Nikoi to gymnastics and mom, what we gotta go pick up? Hopefully they got the tires on the motorhome and everything's looking good because we gotta pick it up. That's right. So we're gonna go pick up the motorhome and uh, test out our new tires. Hopefully we Sounds like a, a fun day, right? <laughs> no rollovers, okay? Okay. Give me hugs and a kiss. I love you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Prickly pear, huh? Love you, princess. Grab your snacks. Have fun at gymnastics. Yay. Do super awesome. Bye, babe. <laughs> Future home of Dykes, fam. Stop it. RV park. <laughs> wow. You don't want to stay there? <laughs> Look at that track. It's a fancy paint job. Skulls and devils and demons. There's her storm. Looks like she's got tires. Wow, I can see those shiny brand new tires right already. Oh. Shiny new tires. Guys, this area is scary right here. This is where Christina got in her wreck. You guys may remember a couple weeks ago, Christina got in a car wreck right here. Like. It's pretty hard to fit one of these big vehicles through here, so you have to be extremely cautious. Because look how windy this road gets. See that right there? Woo, woo, woo. This is tricky. I'm recording for documentation purposes. I've got to ride a little bit close to this white line. <laughs> and then it turns right here. Woohoo! Oh! We made it through there, guys. It was a little nerve wracking, but we can do this. When we get on the road, there's going to be a lot of narrow passages that we've got to get through when we go through mountain areas, bridges, construction. When we went last time, we had a lot of this stuff that we had to deal with. Good thing that I'm pretty confident with my driving ability and I'm getting way more familiar with this RV because we've been driving it quite a bit. We've been joyriding, you know, we go for little rides here and there, the kids wanna just go down the street in it, so we're having a lot of fun with the motorhome. We love it. <laughs> <laughs>